to the left is the sales gallery and also Empire City and to the right is where you go to the side on the right side you see the grey building there that is KPJ Damansara so you just go down all the way down and go underneath this tunnel you will arrive to the site of Central Park Damansara so let's take a look at it What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Property Service and today I'm in Central Park Damansara, a new township by Exim. So let's go! Okay, the site is here. Right up there is going up to Flora Damansara. So this is the Queens, that I suppose is Vervin and Cosmos is behind. This is two ways for the moment at the moment Then it will open the road right opposite So then this road will turn to one way And the other road will turn one way towards Flora Damansara And from Flora Damansara you can come from this side For It's just temporary measures This is at the end of the township This one is the Cosmos Then behind that is Flora Damansara That is Flora Damansara This is the overview of the township So let me go through one by one now What we are doing here First, of course, you see this grey building outside This is KPJ Damansara Specialist uh. KPJ Damansara 2 There is where I am currently in now Empire City Sales Gallery Opposite is a proposed sky deck You saw that we are already building the sky deck uh. Opposite there, there is a commercial area Okay, now we talk about where are those buildings. This one is the Erika. This is phase four. Number one, so you just see all building here. First one is the Queens. This is the first one that we launched. That's the Vervin, the Cosmos. And this is actually, the, the land here is actually earmarked for future moss development. Behind here, it's hidden behind Vervin and Vervin uh, is D Clover, our latest phase, phase 5. Now, we are going to talk about accessibility. D Erika, this road here, see, this connected to LDP actually. We are actually building the ramp. So from LDP, from PJ, you come, or from Union U, you come, you can straight away go back to D Erika. If you are in the township and you want to go dash, you want to go to use the dash highway, you can go to the Dash Highway here. Dash Highway is under construction. If you are staying here or anywhere on the township, right, this proposed sky deck will give you a road for you to drive up here, right up to Empire City. There's a proposed link between Empire City and Central Park Damansara. So you can, in the future, you get to drive all the way to the shopping mall here. Underneath, from here, you can come from DDDI, right? You can come under under the tunnel that I came just now. You come out here, you straight away reach the Central Park Damansara. So, if you are coming from Kapong, coming from Kapong, this is the road. Coming from Kapong, you have to make a U-turn and go in the 
or you can go in the Empire, Empire City and come out straight away to our, the Central Park Damansara. So it, access, in terms of accessibility, there are many access in and out of this township. I'm currently in the showroom for 1,210 square feet Exim's new launch D Clover Phase 5. So before I take you around this showroom, allow me to explain a little bit and share a little bit about this new launch. It is Phase 5 of Central Park Damansara and it consists of 593 units D Clover residence. It has only one tower and 46 storeys of building. It has two for eight types, A1 to A4, B1 to B4, and a few different sizes. The, the sizes are from 1,200 square feet right up to 1,400 square feet, with four rooms or four plus one bedrooms. The unique thing about the Clover is that it is made with the elderly in mind. Most of us are sometimes we are staying with our parents and we want a place where it's elderly friendly. D Clover provides that. It has very limited units which are elderly friendly, fitted with elderly friendly features. Okay? And also D Clover starts the price, uh, the price starts from 800000 onwards. Okay, let's go and take a look at the scale model and then this beautiful showroom right here. This is the building, D Clover. That's how the building will look like. You can see it's only one tower but two wings. Huh? One wing here, two, one wing here. And this is the facility floor. The floor with the swimming pool, gym, playground, all the common facilities that you expect. You have a retail component down here. Okay. Roundabout because the clover is located right at the end, eh? so it's a roundabout, and this is the mall entrance and also visitor entrance. This is the resident parking. The entrance to the park proposed 10 acre park. So, this is the back of the building. This side will be facing the park, and then if you go down further down, remember it's a mall, right? So, it goes right up to here. This side, this building, will be facing the forest side. This is D Clover 1,210 square feet. Type A1, the moment you enter the door, you reach the kitchen here. So that door cannot access, but the yard and also the aircon lids is right behind. This is the kitchen. And dining hall, straight away you go to the living hall. This one, this type is the one that with balcony, but uh, Due to the structure, the balcony cannot show you. That side, they have a balcony. Then, rooms will be on the left and also the right. This is the part that I actually like about this layout. And let me explain later. But let me take you to the master room first. On the left, on the right, sorry. Or you go to the master room. This is the master room. Opposite here, you have a small utility room for you to put all your cleaning items, detergents and this is the master room master room is big enough to fit a wardrobe here okay you want to there's a flat screen tv you want to put a, a dressing table i suggest you take the tv off or you can actually put a small dressing table beside or the wardrobe you can cut here the hole Put the type that's top hanging wardrobe and the one built in dressing small dressing table here. Then you have the attached bathroom. This is the attached bathroom. 
I'm out from the master bedroom. Let's go to the other three rooms. Okay, straight. You can see my refraction, right? That's the toilet. Go up here. It's the first room. First room is also, yeah, it's put here. Very good for baby. You can put a, a single room also. Single bed, sorry. And baby cot. If you want to turn this into a, a family room, you can also replace it with a queen size bed and wardrobe. This one is more for the. This is another room. Okay. Toilet. This toilet is shared by the three rooms. Huh? Okay, so you got to the, this is another room. This room is decorated out to be, I think it's decoration. But you can use this room as another bedroom if you want. There's three, bed, four bedrooms here. That concludes the tour of the Clover by Exim. If you have any questions with regards to the development, you want more information or you want just want to come and visit the sales gallery, do let me know. My name is Kenny, this is from Public Stories, and my number is down below. Until then, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye!